Hi guys, I'm Shmi, and today you join me to take a look at the car behind me here, which I think is just insanely cool. I'm at Brabus in Bottrop in Germany, and this is the Brabus C650 Cabriolet. It's based on the Mercedes AMG C63S, the new convertible, adding the convertible to the lineup with the coupe and the saloon as well. Now we've got the open top experience in the car, but this one has a slight difference. The four liter biturbo V8 in here has 650 horsepower, and 820 newton meters of torque. That means 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.7 seconds. It means a top speed that is raised up to 320 kilometers an hour from the standard 250. This is a powerful, aggressive beast. And today we're gonna to have a full look around it. Stay tuned because we're gonna hear it as well. And it's got Brabus's new exhaust system and it sounds insane. We're gonna have a look at the modifications on the exterior and also the trimming to the interior, which is quite special as well. So let's get started around the front of the car and talk about what we are looking at. So the Cabriolet has recently been introduced. Brabus have already been at it with this car, which was introduced at the Geneva Motor Show earlier this year. If we start right at the very front from the grille, the new Brabus logo sitting proud there in the very center. There's also a Brabus logo on the bonnet badge as well up top. But if we talk about the modifications, it's got a new carbon fiber front splitter, which sits a little bit lower, a little bit more proud and a little bit more aggressive than the standard car. It's got these new intakes sort of over the top or in large scoops to capture more air and bring that in through the radiators in the front for the cooling. Has little end plates you can see here as well for directing airflow slightly around the side of the car. As we move around, new wheels, one of the main things you'll notice, new 20 inch front and rear wheels that it's sitting on. Um, quite large, obviously filling the gaps nicely, and the car is lowered by 30 millimeters, although it has adjustable springs that can be lowered between 20 and 40, depending how you'd like to have it set up. So that's sitting in the central position at the moment. Coming further down the side, you've got these sort of flares out on the side, again in carbon fiber, nice sort of finish and design to them. And lower down, the carbon fiber side sill that runs pretty much the full length there, again with these sort of side plates almost, uh, giving it an aggressive look, as well as helping with directing the air around the car, back past, the 20 inch wheels also at the rear towards the back where up top we're greeted by a lip spoiler body painted gives it a little bit more uh, downforce back there and coming down towards the rear carbon fiber diffuser and here the new exhaust system one other bit you've got these again enlarged sort of flares around the scoops uh, here for the airflow to come out through the car but those give it so much more presence and sort of just look at how it sits it just looks really really cool as we come further back just to look at this diffuser and the way the carbon fiber works it's got almost this sort of styling reminiscent of motorsport of a sort of uh, rear light back there which is uh, nice as well and then the sort of traditional Brabus exhaust style finisher um, coming around obviously the Brabus logos through the rear and the 650 logo because obviously 650 horsepower it's just such a crazy number so sat here roof down in the sunshine in Germany as it should be the car looks good menacing in the black Brabus launched their cars in black and it really does give them quite a sort of a mean image and appearance when you first see them well, let's come in a little bit closer and take a look at the interior and I obviously don't need to open the door four seater with quite a lot of room back there actually decent space at the back keyless system we can open up the door where we're greeted by the retrimmed Brabus interior all the surfaces that would normally be plastic are covered with leather and the very finest leathers at that and it's got this whole sort of new design and styling to this as well so if we start with the seats they're finished with the black leather but with this enjoy blue they call it sort of accent around the sides and the shoulders with the red stitching sort of surrounding that if you look at the base the way the perforations work with the sort of blue uh, underlying color underneath again looking quite neat these sort of color touches I actually think work really well against the black car and you've got the Brabus door sills new Brabus pedals But also the blue carries through in the carpets there as well uh, Making it a sort of nice touch too But if you look at the sort of door everything you look at is Retrimmed and re sort of covered with nice leathers the dashboard the armrest everything Basically that you can see inside the car, but before we come back here too much. Actually, I'm just gonna refer to this as well the blue on the steering wheel I like that. That's really really nice um, Let's just open up the engine bay is down here and go and have a look in there Let's shut the door and come and have a look at this because the power plant is obviously the most important thing in this car and up here is 
what gives us that 650 horsepower? It's a four litre bi-turbo V8, new turbochargers, and it also has a plug and play system that helps take that power up from 510 horsepower in the standard car to 650, 140 horsepower increase. And the standard car has 700 Newton meters. This has 820, so also 120 Newton meters extra as well. Those are some pretty impressive numbers. And that's just through the new turbochargers. It's also got this new sort of plate over the top, which is rather nice as well and the uh, Brabus plaque there too. But the red and gold, I think, looks, looks cool inside the engine bay here. So that is what helps propel it up to 320 kilometers per hour, which is really rather fast for a car of this kind of class. In general, um, there are things, obviously, the C-Class has these nice new headlights, styling uh, to sort of the baby of this kind of platform and series. Ah, you saw the uh, seatbelt there doing its thing. But let us step in. I've got the key in my hand because I want to start this car up and uh, hear how it sounds. So, key in here. Are you ready? And it barks into life. Now we can see that we're currently in Sport Plus mode, but if I use this toggle, you can see then the AMG Performance Lap Timer, setting very much a statement of intent. If we go the other way, we've also got the G-Force sensor, not that we're gonna be driving anywhere at the second, but the same toggle you use for that, if you press and hold down, that double beep you hear in the background is the closing of the exhaust valve, and then if you press and hold up, the single beep is it's opening back up. So the engine in the car is warm. Let's give this a couple of quick blips and hear how awesome this sounds. And if you want even more awesome, you come down here and put it into race mode where it sort of unleashes full potential. That has a rather nice little bark to it, doesn't it? So let's close up the exhaust valves the double beep and let's pop it I guess up into comfort mode just to hear it with the valves closed see so that you can hear the difference here it takes away that super crackly top end you don't have that anymore so it's quite noticeably quieter but obviously you want it in a the loud mode so let's just have that set for the moment just so we can listen to a little bit more burble and that's all quite easy and efficient to change but let's have a little look I guess around the interior and take all of this in We'll start with the rather nice panel that you've got here for your seats, for your seat heating, your seat ventilation, and for air scarf, which is a Mercedes thing on their convertibles, where if I swing around to show you the seats, you have the airflow that can come out here, so you can have warm air on the back of your neck on a cold day, which is a really quite nice feeling. Not that you'd want that on today, where it's currently showing 30 degrees Celsius. So you've got those nicely integrated there, above your sort of seats that move in every which way, memory seats, of course, and the Burmester sound system. Below that, you've got your windows your mirrors over here you've got your light controls your sort of assistance systems the different lane guidance and controls and that sort of side of things you can open up the boot from the switch down there which is a nice little touch as well on the steering wheel itself you've got the extended Brabus shift paddles which really do feel very good uh, significantly longer and nicer to pull than the standard setup and um, your lights and wipers stalk on the other side you've got your drive uh, selector park reverse neutral and drive your volume controls over here and like i mentioned earlier this nice sort of blue touch on the bottom of the steering wheel with the brabus logo as we come over towards the right your air conditioning vents and um, the nice entertainment system that we know and i've shown through this before um, the air conditioning controls a few different things including the iwc clock but hazards and your navigation buttons and the like um, the brabus logo here on the uh, folding center console where you've got your cigarette socket and some storage room down here you've got the controller for the entertainment system as well of course as your drive mode selector so that's where you go up and down through them um, manual or automatic three different adjustable stage suspension traction control settings volume a couple of other things over the other side too then here the storage armrest that actually opens it up and then either side of that are the controls for the roof. So to close the roof, you actually have to have your foot pressed down on the brake, but you would press this and we would sit tight 
and the rear deck will open and the car will close itself up as if by magic. Done. And again, even up top, all of these parts are finished uh, and trimmed in Brabus leather. Um, so that's all done. So even these are sort of quite nicely finished, uh, which is all actually super neat. And then to uh, open it back up again, we will pull and hold this button and it all does its thing and folds itself open. It's a nice view backwards when you're looking at the sort of Brabus logo on the headrest. Let that close back up because I want to show you one more thing back here as well when this is done. So the windows all go up. You have another button to sort of all together put all four windows down, one touch. But then this other button on the right is for the rear wind deflector, which is automatically controlled from that. So you can keep wind away from the cabin with all the windows up and keep your rear passengers traveling in comfort as well. So you have that ability rather than having to sort of physically put something in like you normally do on these kind of cars. It's all done um, via the controls there. So that works very efficiently and effectively as you'd like it. So I think that's pretty much all there is to show you on the inside for the moment. This is all really nicely trimmed. The uh, finish is nice. I like the car anyway and sort of give these touches to it, which obviously can be customized how the owner of the car would like from Brabus. Um, just adds yet another touch to it. And those illuminated sills are really nice as well to step out over as well as that blue touch. There are those blue touches everywhere. I was always going to like those, wasn't I? But it is a four seater, two seats in the back, come round uh, to the boot, which you can open from the key, pop itself open. Excuse the uh, pieces in here. Obviously the roof is stored inside this area, which you can open up uh, if the roof is back up and on the car, should you wish. Just put that down for the moment. And I guess, yeah, that's it. That is the uh, Brabus C650 Cabriolet. My first look at a C63S convertible. I'll take one out for a drive at some point, I am sure. I just wanted to show you the car and basically listen to quite how awesome it sounds. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Brabus for letting me show you this car. There'll be plenty more, I'm sure, from here in Brabus in due course. So make sure you're subscribed, check it all out. So thank you very much again for watching and I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.